quickly because I know you'd see straight through it. But a favorite guide trick is to walk up to a nice, fresh, damp pile of elephant dung and go like this. And then go like this. Mm. Judging by the saltiness, it's probably about five or so hours old give or take a little bit. There's just that faint twang of grass which tells me exactly how old it is and in fact this elephant was quite possibly pregnant. I would never of course do that to you. You just swap fingers. Now I've got a very very dirty finger. <laughs> That's really gross and of course you've many of our regular viewers have seen us do this on a relatively regular basis. However, for our new viewers, the reason that we would do this with elephant dung, I didn't actually put it in my mouth, that I will leave for Steph, but the reason that we can touch things like elephant dung, zebra dung, antelope dung, anything like that, is because, quite simply put, they're herbivores. So they don't tend to have the same, obviously they've got bacteria, but it tends to be quite almost clean in a way. It's like dealing with horse dung, those of you who are horsey people and have to you know, muck out stables. It's not disgusting at all, it doesn't even stink. And generally our sense of smell tells us when something is not right. And elephant dung actually smells amazing. Now I will go and wash my hands, but I'm not too concerned about having elephant dung all over the place. I just use some sand to rub off the, mo the sort of the vast majority of it. But you would never ever ever see me doing anything like that with lion scat or hyena scat or anything like that. And actually my stomach just turned over slightly at the thought of it. Anything that is... So did the cameraman's. <laughs> anything that eats meat, um, whether it's an omnivore or a carnivore, you don't go and play with their excrement. But herbivore dung is perfectly safe, kids, for those of you who may or may not be watching. Don't play with any, any feces or poo or anything like that unless an adult tells you it's okay, which is probably unlikely, but it could happen. But make sure that you check first before you handle any poo and make sure that you wash your hands straight afterwards.